Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. How to do that? Hello, welcome back. So today we are going to do something different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to make a game using AI. Oh, really? Yes, we yes, are. <laughs> we are. We are going to utilize ChatGPT for coding and Gemini for the creative and the story building of the game. So I think I'll do the Gemini part. You better. <laughs> because I'm not a professional techie techie here, oh. so I have no idea what coding is, so I'll probably, I'll do the Gemini part, I'll do the design part. Yeah, yes. you're good at designing, so yeah, you should do yeah. that, really. Yeah, that's a compliment. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll do the coding part with the help of ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I'll do the design part using Gemini. Instead of making this as a competition, we can find out how these two AI can create something fascinating. Yes, we are gonna make them work together. So from designing the game to writing the code and creating the artwork, we are gonna use them in every step of the way. So if you ever wonder uh, how these AI can create a game, just stick around, we might come up with something fascinating or yeah, awesome. That's right. Let's get started with Gemini by creating a game concept. So what I need here is a backstory, a unique element and the name of the game. So we are moving on to the step one, which is to generate the game concept using Gemini. As I told before, I'm doing the creative part, the art, all those things. So I need to provide a prompt. It should include what does it looks like, what will be the theme, what will be the background, all kind of things. So I'm gonna do a write the prompt here. So this is the prompt. I need to create a 2D a endless runner game, which is somewhat similar to the Timber Run. And for that, I need a backstory, a theme, and the setting. And I just want my game a bit unique from others. So, submitting the prompt. So yes, we've got the storyline, we've got the concept, and we've got the settings. And you know something amazing? This thing is happening in Egypt. And I am an archaeologist. Well, telling about the reality, that was one of my biggest childhood dream to become an archaeologist. Well, it didn't happen in real life, but it's happening in the video game, and I'm so happy. So, for now, I will explain you what this game is. I will summarize what is the story, what will be the backstory, what you can expect in this story in this game. So you are an archaeologist and you are exploring the ancient Egypt ruins and you saw a hidden chamber and you will find Eye of Ra which is a powerful artifact and you try to touch it and when you touch it you realized you have made a big mistake. That means you have unleashed a powerful curse and that curse is known as the Pharaoh's Fury. Well, that is the game's name itself, the Pharaoh's Fury. So the game starts with you running for your life. It's not all about the running, it's all about the surviving. Just like the Hunger Games. So you are escaping that collapsing temple and the wrath of God is chasing you and there will be a lot of sandstorms, there will be a lot of earthquakes and maybe some kind of giant scarabs following you and we will be running through the crumbling temples 
there will be hieroglyphics on the walls there will be torches flickering on in the shadows and there are a lot of dust that you are going on there will be you have to dodge a lot of obstacles and you have to try to avoid the god's wrath so we have to navigate the traps like collapsing bridges there will be falling rocks okay we have to navigate and to make it more interesting we will be collecting ancient relics an artifact along the way the searches for the points but they're not they're not just for the points but they will unlock the pieces of the story that give uh, give us more insight to the eye of Ra and the forest fury and it's not about the running as i told you before it's about it's all about and revealing the uh, secrets of ancient egypt to survive so basically this forest fury is an endless runner game with a cool egyptian background with a compelling story and there will be a lot of challenging obstacles and um well it's exciting and it will be fun so you have to get ready to jump to slide to run all the way through the ancient ruins and ancient egypts and hopefully we can escape this forest fury together moving on to the next step of the game development now we already have the game backstory we have all the elements and the sound effects required for the game now i'm gonna ask ChatGPT to write me a python code with these details so that i can run it in my local system this is step number two writing the code using ChatGPT. we already have the storyline created by gemini with sandra help us create i'm gonna copy the storyline and the concept from gemini so that i can give this to chatgpt and create a code for running the game i'm gonna go into chatgpt.com now i'm gonna ask chatgpt to provide us the code which for which a storyline was prepared by gemini Okay, now ChatGPT is preparing us a uh, Python code for the 3D game. Okay, let's copy the code and head over to Visual Code Studio. Okay, now I have created a Python file in the folder Pharaoh's Fury. I'm going to copy and paste the code which was generated by ChatGPT for us. I hope there are placeholder images which are used which we can replace or else we'll go back and ask ChatGPT to provide us those placeholders oh i can see these images right now let's see how the game is so i'm gonna do python 3 and game.py The code which was provided by ChatGPT was not in 3D. So I went back to ChatGPT to create as a 3D game using Arsena or Panda 3D. This is the code which was generated by ChatGPT. Let's head back and paste the code and let's see. Mm, yeah, I don't think there should be anything done by us. Let's run the Python. Okay, uh, it says no module called Arsena found. We'll make use of our copilot to fix this issue. I know what the issue is. Let's see if copilot can find it out. Let's see. Copilot is asking us to install the Arsena engine. So let's type pip install u r s i n e that should be it it is downloading necessary dependencies okay perfect the Arsena engine is now installed let's 
Uh, let's give the command to run the code again python3 game.py let's see how it is it is taking time it is taking a while to load okay i can see i would say not a bad first try let's close this out and let's go back to ChatGPT and let's modify this particular code. Perfect, the code is completed. Let's copy the code and go back to game.py, update the code and run the command again. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. head back now it is time for gemini to provide us descriptions on what and how these images should be i'm gonna give the file names from the code which chat has provided us so these are the codes that we need and I need description. Provide, so above is the storyline. Provide the descriptions for the following images in 3D. Okay, well, I get these descriptions. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna copy the description of player one and I'm going to our deep ai dot org i need image and i'm gonna give this prompt i want to specify that i need a 3d image 3d detailed image i'm gonna hit on create image should be hd quality uh not bad but I need the back side of it because the person is running right so 3d back side image it hit on generate this is not bad okay now we have to remove the background gonna hit on edit so that the background will be removed that's what I want and I have downloaded it now I'm gonna remove this obstacle image that I created but I want to use everything which is given by AI okay so we have the image of the person running now so now we can rename this file and paste it here where our game.py is and i'm gonna rename it as player player player.png and over here <coughs> sorry <coughs> over here i'm gonna say player.png okay that should be good and the second one is the ground so i'm gonna copy the details of ground texture head over to this and hit on generate okay looks good i'm gonna download this image the image is downloaded i'll go back here and get the background and i'm gonna rename it as ground it's not background it's ground g-r-o-u-n-d ground that should be that head over here instead of this placeholder i'm gonna provide ground.png okay now we have one more that is the obstacle okay uh, oh we have two more we need obstacle I'm gonna go back here 
upgrades. Hmm, not bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna download it and we have our obstacle. I hope this is the one just download it right now. Yeah. So it is going to be obstacle. Okay. Gonna move it here and find obstacle. Okay, I'm gonna replace this with obstacle.png. Okay, I can see that the collision is not working and the obstacles is not working as well. Let's go back to the code and try to figure out why the obstacle is not working. So it should be fine now. Let's go back and run the code. Okay, we are getting there. We are getting there. This is much better than when we started. So yeah let's try to improve the game and make it really good Okay, now it is time to demo our game. We made the game. We did indeed. Oh, yes, it was a nice working functional game with nice effects. Hope you enjoyed. Yes. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and, and like and comment. That's right. Video. And also let us know what we should do on the next video. Okay, bye. Bye bye. Talk to you later. <laughs>